Guess what came in the mail today? All the way from China. Five meters of LEDs. I can't believe how incredibly cheap these things are. This whole roll was six dollars. Delivered. I'm going to do a little project to replace our Coleman lantern with these because I'm tired of dealing with the lighting and fueling of that thing. I'm just straight wiring them up to this 12 volt battery give you an idea of the brightness. As you can see they kick off a fair bit of light. As you can see they light up this work surface pretty well. That's just with that small amount unwound. So I'm hoping that I can get quite a bit of light out of these. The batteries for this project came from an uh, electric lawnmower that my neighbor gave me. It was no longer working and I pulled the batteries out of it. They're 17 amp hour 12 volt batteries. I have two of them. And I also have a couple other batteries that are lying around. This one's 12 amp hours. So I'm going to recharge them at home using my little trickle charger and then I will take them to the cottage and use them to power the lighting system. The full 5 meter strip uses 2 amps. The battery I have is a 17 amp hour battery. That should allow me about 8.5 hours of run time. I have this big roll of uh, old telephone uh, wiring cable back from the days when telephones were wired to buildings. And uh, it's perfect for a project like this. It's a bit light gauge, but I think it'll work out fine. And uh, this will allow me to temporarily make uh, put the battery farther from the LEDs. Well, I just wrapped the whole five meters around this uh, old broomstick and I think I might just have invented the lightsaber. <laughs> I have this roll of translucent diffuser. I'm going to wrap some of that around and see if it makes a more even light. I think this system would work really well if you wanted to replace a fluorescent tube. If you had an old fixture with a reflector, you could put this in there as a replacement and it would uh, work quite well. But for me, I needed a more task lighting, a straight down. So I decided to build a wooden structure to hold the LEDs pointing directly down at the table. I just ripped these strips off. I'm going to use them as a balance to block so you don't see the actual LEDs when you're uh, sitting at the light. I've left them totally rough cut. I'm not going to sand them at all. I like the texture and I like the grain in these holes and I think it's uh, great as it is. So I'm just going to glue and tack nail these together. As much as I love this lantern and have a lot of nostalgia about it, they're a bit of a pain. Now that I got the LEDs put in, this thing lights up this table way better and a lot less hassle.
Unfortunately, we don't have our whole solar setup yet, and we're just relying on some of these small batteries to keep things going until we can get there. But first we have to build the roof and walls, and then we'll work on the finer details. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, there'll be more to come. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you can, and tune in next time for more of Ontario Lakeside.